A uh, man went on a shooting spree in Oakland at a small Christian university. His name is Won L. Go, which is a bizarre name. He's a lot a of Koreans at this university. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically a Korean university. Uh, it's, they teach in English and in Korean. Uh, they teach theology and nursing. It's a fascinating combination. He was a nursing student. He's 43 years old. He is a South Korean national. Uh, apparently, there was some uh, situation where he was removed from the university. He did not like that. He came back and started shooting people. S at least seven dead, many wounded. Hopefully, uh, the wounded survive. He went on a shooting spree, shot people point blank in the ch uh, chest and the head. Uh, and uh, he was, of course, mentally ill, it appears, right? At the very least, given the circumstances that we have here, people said he was volatile. The students were. Uh, afraid that he might go into a rage at some point. Sounds like he, he would felt, have been a really good nurse. Yeah, I know, right? I was yeah. thinking about that, like, God, this is the least nurse guy in the world. Yeah, or a philosopher. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he felt that the other students had mistreated and disrespected him. That might be because he was a maniac and they were totally right. Uh, one uh, small part of the story that I have to confess annoyed me. Uh, Deborah Lee, who survived, she was in an English language class, said, I was okay because I know God protects me. Uh, yeah. Thereby, in my opinion, implying that God did not protect her classmates who were shot to death. And it just drove me crazy. It is a, and, and if God is protecting you, why did he send a madman to your campus to shoot at this Christian school? Why would, didn't he send him to another school? I mean, it's a bizarre way that God has of protecting you. Now, yeah, I mean, I think you got to give the victims of shooting their moment of... They survived. I know. It, I know. And, and I'm, I'm being too tough on her. But I know. You I, know. I, of course, you know that I the, the, what, what, what the objectionable part of what she said, while given understanding of the stress of her moment, is that God protected me because I was a believer. So there's really a contrast drawn for those oh poor seven people at this Christian college. I'm guessing they were all fairly dedicated. Yeah, absolutely. But you really, the, of course, the actual blame. Uh, doesn't lie in God or Satan or anything like that. Obviously, this gentleman is uh, should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. He wound up turning himself into the police in a, after he went to a supermarket about three miles away from campus. Uh, but the secondary issue here, which I think is in a lot of ways the primary issue, is that we give out guns like it's candy. You yeah. know, and I'm not sure we give out candy that readily, right? At least with kids, we're like, hey, be careful with the candy. Here, it's like guns, guns, anybody. You know, you've got mental issues. You're uh, on the terrorist watch list, we don't give a damn. Here's a gun for you. Here's a gun for you. And then when crazy people shoot uh, others and kill them, we're like, "Wow, I didn't see that coming." Well, look, I'm telling you, I see it coming because I see it happen all the time. We cover the news. Guys go on rampages, shoot everybody because we give everybody guns with no decent background checks. Yeah, you know, and and it's a there's been a capitulation by the left on guns, of which you know, to the extent that I'm part of that, I participated in. You know, we were on this show a number of times, conversations you and I had, where I said, I think my recollection is you largely agreed with me, that we were like, all right, yeah, you so care so much about the Second Amendment, you can have it, just make sure I get the other nine, right? That's right, and look, politically speaking, it is dangerous territory for the Democrats, and of course, whenever there is dangerous territory, they run for the hills, and they've definitely run for the hills here. They will propose no legislation on guns, they won't come anywhere near it for the foreseeable future, and the reason is once when they did, the NRA beat them up and they lost a couple of seats and now it scares them to death. Now, and there are a lot of, and there are a lot of pro-gun Democrats in Congress too. Yeah, and a lot of guys who also take money from the NRA as oh, yeah, well. Sure, you know, sure both they, of those sure things are true, yeah, yeah. right? And so, look, is it the t number one issue? No. Do I think politically they should emphasize it as the number one issue? No way. Do I, would I make the trade to get back the fourth, fifth, eighth amendments, et cetera, to give on the second amendment? I might still make that trade. Mm -hmm. So you're right in that we're all culpable in this. But you know what, overall, as a matter of politics, I, I, you know where I stand. You proceed from strength and all good things will follow. So if, even if this was a losing issue, and I can see pollsters coming in and saying, hey, Cenk, there's no way to win this, right? I would say we go forward anyway. Because the more important message is, we stand for our beliefs. We think this is a bad idea to give out guns like candy, and we need some reasonable regulation. For example, the number of bullets you can have in a magazine, or stricter background checks so that mentally disabled people don't get guns, right? Or guys like this who are unstable, yada, 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 right? 
I would push forward on that anyway, you know, even if I thought it was a losing issue, one, because it's the right thing to do, but two, also because people respect pe uh, politicians who actually stand firm. Only reason George W. Bush won any election. Yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not an expert on gun law at all. But I'm, I'm, I'm very dubious always. I, I've always been somewhat persuaded by uh, those on the right, on the gun lobby, who argue that if you, the, all these laws do is just make it easier for criminals to have guns and harder for law-abiding citizens to get guns. Like, I don't, I, 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 so I sort of, while wanting very much to restrict the flow of guns, it seems to me that you've got you to prevent the manufacture of guns, and that's a whole different... That's yeah, a, you know, but you know, I think this is a, a case I could like be, this... And I don't know, so I could be persuaded otherwise. Yeah, a case like this might actually be a good example uh, against that point. And, and the reason is, look, this is not a guy who's a criminal who's going to you know, be a, selling drugs and was going to get guns one way or another. He was a mentally unstable guy that if we did a decent background check, might not have gotten a gun. Yeah, we, we don't know where he got the gun, of course, but right, uh, right now. And, and we'll, you know, obviously that's a big part of the story. And, and, we'll and you know, in, the, in Virginia Tech, I think that there was a good case to be made that that guy might not have gotten a gun if we'd done a decent background check. Yeah, it should, look, it, but, but those laws, are, like when you say reasonable, like we got to, uh, you know, if we were going to do it, these laws are going to be tough. It's going to become really hard to get a gun. God, like, that would be awesome. Right, and here's why you should fight. <laughs> Continue to fight because uh, you know how old's your son? Oh, he's uh, now getting close to two. Right. So in 16 years, you're going to go away to college. You know, probably community college. You know, um, uh, but, if uh, we're lucky. If we're lucky. You know, look, there are going to be kids going in 16 years. Like it's going to take a long time. This is a you know, and the work that uh, that Sarah and Jim Brady did is it matters. It was and it's generational. So we're not going to get serious gun laws passed. That's why you don't quit fighting. Like, we've moved the process back because we abdicated that struggle. But, you know, so you start over. And maybe in 2040, there's some reasonable gun laws. And guess what? There'll be 18-year-olds in college then. 